What's going on guys? I know it's been a while since I last posted on the channel, but uh, I've been busy, you know, doing R&D and today I have a really exciting tutorial for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and set up a LiDAR unit and hook it up to the Raspberry Pi. So before we get started, let's talk uh, bill of materials, the things that you will need. You're going to need a Raspberry Pi 3 a XV11 LiDAR unit, a mini USB cable, uh, a XV11 mount. So I got this, I found this online on Thingiverse and 3D printed it. If you don't have a 3D printer, you can also pay to have it printed for you. I'll post all the links to these uh, components in the description. Something you're also going to need is this uh, XV11 uh, LiDAR control unit. So GetSurreal.com sells this for roughly 30 bucks and it's essentially a, a Teensy board so that's like an Arduino type board to interpret the serial uh, data and then pass that along to the Raspberry Pi. And finally you're going to need a, a breadboard and a generic uh, breadboard power supply unit. So you can definitely run uh, the power from this Teensy board however I don't like doing that because it puts strain on the Raspberry Pi I'd rather um, control the power externally using a separate power supply uh, so just make sure if anything that you have a 3.3 volt power supply available to you because you're, you'll get better results uh, in my experience and a note on the XV11 LiDAR unit, so you can source these on eBay and they run for roughly $150. So it's sort of a specialized specialized part, um, but it's definitely one of the cheaper LiDAR units available currently. So with all that said, let's go ahead and start uh, hooking everything up. So the first thing you wanna do is take the LiDAR unit and, it, and sort of just mount it to the three printed mount here so it just drops in we're not going to screw it down um, right now we're just going to sort of go ahead and get this set up so we can test it so you want to route these wires there's two uh, sets of wires that are that come with the XV11 LiDAR unit so you have your data cables so I, th I believe this is like the raw serial data and then your power that drives this motor here in the back so essentially what we're going to do is just hook this up to the the teensy board breakout right here and now that that's done I'm going to go ahead and not plug the power into the teensy board power input, but I'm actually going to use this separate uh, power supply. So I've already, if you can look here, I've set this switch to 3.3 volts and then I have positive and ground and then I'm just going to hook them up to the corresponding connection. So red and white are positive. So I'll go ahead and hook that up real quick. So we got positive and negative hooked up. So there we go, that's hooked up. Um, and now all we need to do is get our mini USB cable and plug that into the TNC board. So when you get your Teensy board, the firmware will be already uploaded so you don't have to worry about uh, uploading anything to this Arduino. But we're going to need to go ahead and test to make sure that we don't have a defective LiDAR unit and that our uh, LiDAR controller is working properly. So now we're going to head over to the computer and I'm going to show you how to test, do a quick test uh, using the Arduino IDE. So let's go ahead and switch over.
I'm over here at Get Surreal's website, and if you scroll down, you should be presented with this quick test link for the XV11 water controller. Go ahead and click that. Um, it'll give, it'll prompt you with all the instructions to run the test. So before we do that, we gotta get our environment set up. So uh, if you don't have uh, Arduino IDE installed, you're gonna have to go and do that. Um, in my experience, when you head over to the Arduino page, don't install the latest IDE. Go ahead and install version 1.06 or the classic IDE because I ran into problems running the newer version. But your model, your your experience may differ from mine, but just go ahead and do that. Um, so download this install for whatever platform you have, and then after you install that, go ahead and go over to the TC Arduino page and then install this too. So this will just uh, essentially put this add-on into your IDE instance. So once that's done, go ahead and open your IDE. Uh, Arduino IDE, I already have done that here. So before we hook up the USB connection to the PC, we're going to have to just make sure of a couple settings. So if you go to this tools tab right here, um, you want to change the board and make sure it's on TNC 2.0, uh, USB type serial and CPU 16 megahertz. I believe that's the default. Um, and then when we plug in this USB, it should recognize and this uh, menu should change. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I actually need to hook up power real quick. So about to hook up power right now. So power on this uh, breadboard power supply. And you can see the that the motor starts spinning right away. So we're out of frame here. Let me readjust this. Sorry for the messy wiring, but got an extra long cable here. So yeah, now that the LiDAR is spinning, but uh, you don't see anything happening with the LiDAR control unit. So once we plug it in, the USB into my PC, it should light up. So there we go, you should see this blinking orange LED. And now if we look at this, uh, this tools tab, we can see that it's detected uh, the device on serial column three. So now we know it's good. So go ahead and click this serial monitor. Um, an important, a few settings which are really important. You want to set this uh, bottom right setting to new line and the baud rate to 115,200. Uh, if if you're seeing all this garbled data, don't fret. This is actually a good sign. Uh, it means our LiDAR is using it. This is literally the raw feed we're gonna get or we're getting currently. So to get um, some relevant information, we're gonna have to send a command to the LiDAR control unit. So we're gonna type show DIST and hit enter. And then we should see the formatted data. So what you're seeing here is event is essentially the, the angle, the distance, and the signal value. And it's just constantly, constantly, uh, you know, dumping this data or constantly just pushing this data to this Arduino IDE. So there's other commands too that you can test. So we can do show RPM, show RPM. Okay, I think my syntax is incorrect, so give me one second. It should say here, show RPM. Okay, no problem, we just close this out, um, start over again. So just go to tools, serial monitor, show RPM. So there we go, now it's showing us the RPM value. So it should be pretty close to 300 revolutions per minute. Um, one important note is the Teensy board is set up for, I believe three and a half volts, but the Neato uh, robot runs at five volts. So it spins a lot faster, 
but currently on the setup with all the software, just uh, make sure you're running it on no more than three and a three point three volts, because then it, it you won't get any uh, usable output. So now that that's set up, let's go ahead and get it hooked up on the Pi. Okay, so I've just uh, put the LiDAR unit on some, uh, uh, a roll of tape, so that way it's lifted off the ground slightly, so that way we don't get interference with you know, some of the objects here when we go to test it. So now we're just gonna take the USB and plug it into an available USB slot on the Raspberry Pi. So there we go, right there. Uh, now we need to supply power. I have this USB power supply that splits into dual output. So once hooked up to the DC, uh, or the, the micro USB port on the breadboard power supply, and then this will just go into the micro, S, the micro <laughs> USB power on the Pi, sorry. Yeah, my words jumbled there. So I don't know if you can see everything. So now everything's hooked up. So we got power goes and drives the motor for the LiDAR uh, unit. And we have the serial connected, serial data cables connected to the LiDAR controller. And the controller's hooked up to the Pi. All right. So now let's go ahead and head over to the computer. Okay, so I just, gone ahead and connected to my Raspberry Pi through the VNC so that's because when we want to when I run the visualization test we got to make sure that we can see it on a screen essentially so go ahead and open up a terminal and the first thing we need to do is figure out where or where the device the USB device is mounted so you're going to run uh, LSUSB and just make sure that you see this right here. So Informatica Teensy Duino Serial. That's good, that means the Raspberry Pi detected the device. But now we need to know the actual path, essentially, so we type message. Uh, I forget what this is called, like pipe, grep, TTY. So this is the command you're going to use to figure out where your device is. So right here we can see TTY ACM0 USB ACM device and then uh, so that's the actual the actual uh, d device name I believe. So now we need to go back to the Get Surreal page and we're going to need to click on the visual test for XV11 LiDAR. So if you look here, there's a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need Pi Serial and VPython. Um, and also the LiDAR script. So go ahead and click this link and download the LiDAR script. I already actually have this LiDAR script. We can see here uh, it takes the COM port and baud rate. So we gotta make sure those match up with what we have on the Raspberry Pi. So essentially it shows you examples of what they can be, but this uh, one here on the right is what we want. So we're just gonna go ahead and copy this, copy and change COM30 to To what was it on the device? I believe it was ACM0. Yeah, so TTY ACM0. That's what ACM0. And just double check to make sure that the baud rate set to 115,200. And then go ahead and save that and upload this to the Raspberry Pi. I've already gone ahead and done that, so I'm not gonna show you how to do that. But now we gotta set up our Pi do a few things there to get our environment set. So the first thing you want to do is pip install um, Pi Serial. I already have that installed so it'll tell me the requirements already satisfied. And the next thing you need to do is install 
the Python. So I believe it's sudo apt get install. I believe it's vpython. I'm not entirely sure. I'll definitely um, post the link in this video. But once you do that, you should be set. So let's go ahead and clear everything. And then um, I've already updated lidar.py here. So let's do a sudo python lidar.py and run that. So that's good. Now that we can see that it's working, it's going to take a, a second to initialize. Just be patient. And essentially, you're at first you're presented with this um, essentially horizontal plane of a picture, and that's not really what we want, right? I initially thought that it was broken, but it's not. All you need to do is go ahead and click on the middle point and then you can rotate or I believe you can rotate there we go I think it's right click so right click rotate and then it gives us the the point map not really sure what you call it I think we have it upside down here Yeah, just bear with me for a second. I'm just trying to get the orientation right. But yeah, you can see uh, here are all my walls and I think this is me sitting here. So if I move my hand closer, you can see that the, the points actually move. So if I move my hand farther away, but let me go ahead and stand up so you can see. And I'll just sort of walk around. And you can see the dots or the group of dots moving. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you get the LiDAR, you know, up and running on the Raspberry Pi real quick. So just before I sign off here, I just want to give, you know, props to the people who put all this stuff together, you know, it would have taken me days, if not weeks, to get all this um, up and running. But thanks to the people at Get Surreal for providing that LiDAR unit or LiDAR controller board with the Teensy USB. Uh, it was really awesome. And the people who developed the libraries and the software to interpret all the garbled data on the um, XV11. Can't thank you guys enough. And yeah, stay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff. Um, I don't know if you saw my previous video with the Nomad robot. This is sort of the next iteration. So now that we have a LiDAR unit, we can develop our obstacle avoidance system um, even more. And, and yeah, you know, like, subscribe, and thanks. Thanks, guys. Peace.